Cheers. We've got a major tournament coming up, the Bassmaster Kayak Classic Championship on Possum Kingdom all the way in Texas. That's right, we are on our way to Texas. First thing I noticed, that water is chocolate milk. Here goes nothing. Oh my God, that's a long one. First Possum Kingdom fish. Yeah. How are you? I'm good, man, how are you? I hate sleeping in a toilet. Let's see what we got here. We're gonna learn how to fish chocolate soup. Well, it's cool in here. AC works. Gotta turn that around. Day two of free fish. How's it going so Woo. far? Here's one for your boat. Get those things away from me. Okay, that's a pattern I can work with, folks. This should be in here. Hope they're in the wood. I haven't got one in the wood yet. Oh! Finally got a bite. Problem with, oh, gee, that took a million flips. Literally a million flips. Hey, welcome to Texas, man. We really did not figure much out. We got one pattern, if you can call it that. Tomorrow morning, final day of pre-fish on Possum Kingdom. Should be interesting. I ain't going out there. How are you doing? Nothing, just a little uh, indecisive. Oh, I think the fact that we're all off the water says something. <laughs> Is that the stage? I hate to say this, probably the worst pre-fishing days I've ever had. I'm just gonna stick to what I know and try to build upon it. You know what, actually, let's, uh, let's go interrogate the guys. Let's go check them out. Let's go to Jason first. I know predictions are always tough, but yeah. you're on good fish. Yeah, I've had some good practice days. Today was epic. Well, we're rooting for you, man. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Oh, there he is. What's, What's up, up, Jane? I was just telling the folks how terrible my fishing's been. They've seen it. But that's okay, dude, because it's all about tomorrow. We're rolling. I hope we all end up in the top 10. But you ain't gonna be me, because I'm sharing water with like 20 of the best sticks in the business. Well, good luck to you tomorrow, yeah, man. Yeah, brother. I think I'm gonna close out the video right there. And I will see you guys in the next video for day one, the Kayak Bassmaster Classic on Possum Kingdom. We'll see what happens. Stay tuned. Guys, I think it's time. I got a 50 minute drive. I don't even know if there are fish there. Are you guys going to Bass Hollow or? Yeah. Oh my five God, minutes. the job is five minutes. <laughs> Here we go. Good luck, man. Stay safe, haul if you need anything. Stay safe, guys. Well, try to haul if you need anything. Yeah, I'll be there. Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. It is finally here, day one of the Bass Kayak Classic here on Possum Kingdom Lake. If you guys didn't see the previous video, a whole trip here out from California, you guys know it's been it's been a struggle for me. It's been tough fishing, but uh, today is a new day. We are gonna go with uh, the one pattern kind of deal that we found and then just go explore. Like I've said many times, this is a huge deal. This tournament is a huge tournament. I mean, the Bass Kayak Classic two-day event. We've got almost 150 of some of the best anglers in the country all fishing this lake today and tomorrow. You had to qualify and the top 10 get to go to the Bassmaster Classic on stage on Friday. Of course, first place gets that coveted title of the first Kayak Classic champion and a cool 20K. So a little bit at stake here. Just to quickly go over the rules, the time, it is about five o'clock. We can launch our kayaks at 5.30. First cast is six o'clock. Last cast is two o'clock. Upload all the photos to tourney x by 2 30 and it, like i said two-day event today my only goal is to catch five keepers you can't win these tournaments on day one but you definitely can lose them so not catching five fish is definitely putting yourself in a, in a bind so we need to catch five fish today i'm excited i'm nervous i'm anxious but here goes nothing we'll unload the kayak get launched at 5 30 and wait for first cast day one bass kayak classic possum kingdom here we go
just gonna start right here, right by the ramp. Problem is, we got 28 minutes now. We gotta wait. Six o'clock. That's a long 30-minute wait, guys. Here we go. I think over the course of two days, it is gonna take 188 inches to win this tournament. To make top 10, I think it's gonna be 178 to make top 10 and get on that classic stage. Guys, it's about 10 o'clock. Day one is half over. Zero bites, zero fish, zero things figured out. I'll show you guys basically the route we've taken so far. This route is tried where we've stopped, different baits, different depths, different presentations, and just no luck. This is getting depressing. Man, as, as positive as I'm trying to stay right now, it's tough, it is really tough. Just the confidence meter, you know, the confidence meter for me always starts at 100% and the longer you go without a fish, the harder it is that just meter keeps dropping and dropping all day. And I'd say I'm down to about 50% right now. Uh, keep fishing, keep covering water, it's all we can do. Well, that was out of nowhere. It's pretty. It's a pretty good one too. Holy smokes! I came out of nowhere. Jeez Louise! How random! So random. It's actually pretty. Pretty good fish right there. Jeez, five of these, and we'd win the freaking tournament. Two days in a row, that is. We didn't skunk somehow. <laughs> oh boy. Hmm. <laughs> First bite all day. <laughs> well, you know what guys? 
I got two hours left. Am I like stoked on some awesome pattern deal? No, but I am pretty happy that we didn't skunk. It's hard to portray that in a video, the emotions, based on just what I'm showing you guys, but I can promise you since about nine o'clock for three hours straight, I've been playing in my head what I'm gonna tell you guys at the end of the day when I skunk, or if I had skunked. So I'm glad I don't have to make that speech. That being said, that's only one fish and that's a lot of flips, a lot of casts, a lot of water covered to get that fish. Four more bites is all you need. You just don't know. You just don't know. I think we're gonna flip for the rest of the day. Do we dare take a look at the leaderboard and get depressed? Oh my God, someone has 107.75 inches. You've got to be kidding me. Oh my God. You know how I said you can't win it on the first day, but you can definitely lose it? Well, this guy may have just proved me wrong with 107.75, holy smokes. Yeah, people are catching them for sure. Yes, that's perfect, dude. Let's give me the thumbnail. Thumbnail. <laughs> I'll talk out here first. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, we're back at the house. Got the grill going, the beer is flowing, and I myself am sitting with one fish at the end of day one of the Bass Kayak Classic. Definitely not what I was hoping for, but you know, I really only have myself to blame. My pre-fish was not good. We did not get on fish. We did not make the right decisions and ultimately set ourselves up for failure. I'm gonna agree with today you. Was, today was a failure. It was a really bad day. And you know, that, that's, that's what happens sometimes. These are uh, tournaments and uh, you have your fair share of good ones, your fair share of bad ones. But you caught one more fish than I did. That's true. I got a zero, not even a bite. <laughs> yeah, that, that helps a little actually. But that's what happens, you know? Tournaments, anything can happen. Shout out, shout out to these guys, Jason and Shane. Solid limits, right? Yeah. What are you sitting yeah. at, Jason? Uh, 23rd. Five and a half inches out on the top 10. Okay, Shane? Uh, I got 80 and a quarter. So you guys caught him. We knew they'd catch him, but I think the, the big story is the first place. Yeah. Yeah. 107. Like, are you serious? I mean, if he just catches 90 tomorrow, it's game over. If he even catches probably 80, it's game over. Maybe he'll drop his phone water. Uh, Ooh, anything can happen. I was joking with a joke. <laughs> yeah, as far as us, for me, tournament's pretty much over. I mean, I'm still gonna fish tomorrow for day two. There is like a, a daily big bass. You know, whatever. I'm gonna I'm gonna go out there tomorrow and just try to try to figure them out as best I can. Probably go to a new area. Disappointing for sure, but gonna have a lot more tournaments in the future. Hopefully, more bass kayak championship tournaments in the future to uh, get our revenge someday. But let's do a quick house tour. I don't think I've given you guys a house tour. So this is the Airbnb we're staying at. It's obviously, just next to the lake. Open her up. This is uh, yeah, I saw that. the living quarters. It's not too messy. Jason's bedroom. Do you mind if I go into your bedroom? Yes. I have to clean the rest of the house. Oh. Ah. <laughs> it's got some oranges. I think the best room in the house is right here. Shane's bedroom, <laughs> couch. Gene has cinder blocks in his hands. <laughs> oh, this is the workstation where we get our work done. This is the kitchen area. Want to show us the fridge? Yes. Anything good? Beer, salad, and meat. Buy more beer. Salad. <laughs> salad isn't even open. <laughs> <laughs> and then the, the freezer, you gotta look at that ice water because it's like 150 degrees out here. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Standard stuff. Coffee maker still on. Whoops. Bananas. Bathroom. I'm not gonna show that. Gene and Jordan's room. The battery charging stations. Yeah. Not much. My room. Uh, yeah, not very exciting in here. Yeah, that's the tour of the house. Pretty good digs for, you know, a week at Possum Kingdom. Better than camping. Let's back out. Such you guys right here. So like I said, guys, we, uh, we got another day tomorrow. Another day. We shall go out there tomorrow, give it our all, to finish up this tournament. And uh, yeah, hopefully uh, 
end on a positive, strong note here at Possum Kingdom. Let's just cut to the chase. We'll head right into tomorrow morning, day two at Possum Kingdom. Stole chatter action. Never know. start yeah nine minutes I guess I should have started here yesterday could be an early morning deal so I gotta take advantage of these pictures Bang, shallow. number one a little buzz bait action Really a bunch of fish here. Oh my god. That's a big one. Come here, dude. Come here, son. Junk fishing 101. Right under that tree with a jig. Wow, dude, he choked it too. A little redemption today. Here's two. Man, if we can get a limit today, that'd be very welcomed. Alrighty, a little 16er. Thank you, sir. Now PK's treating me a little bit better today. Caught one right there under the tree. Really? Yeah, right under that tree right there. Like, uh, I caught that one on a jig, a black and blue jig. That's good. Yeah. Thank you. We'll say this. I think of all the states and places I've fished in, I think Texas, by a long shot, has the most friendly people, at least on the lake, out on the water, that I've uh, witnessed. That's a giant. I just lost an eight pounder. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God, that's so painful. That was my fault. Why'd I grab the nuts so quick? Oh my God. Oh my God. Please be more of you. He's 
found a school of fish. Sweet. Dude, that is not what I wanted. Is that for real? Is that even 12 inches? I don't think that's 12. By golly, it is. I cannot believe what just happened. It's the luck we needed. We needed to run across something like this. We definitely, they're sitting here, I think. He's on the rope. Oh my god. Stay on, dude. Stay on. It's a big one. Wow. Can't believe we just got bit. Oh, buddy. Thank you. Good one. Right on the drop, too. 17 and a quarter. Oh. Yeah, buddy. Number four. You got one hour and 10 minutes left to catch one more for a limit. That would be amazing. Ladies and gentlemen, that is officially going to wrap up the Bass Nation Kayak Classic here at Possum Kingdom in Texas. You know, it has been, and I'm gonna be honest with you, it has been a, a tough trip. Definitely try to stay positive, especially in fishing, but man, it was disappointing. It was very disappointing. I blame myself for uh, just not figuring out the fish. Tournament day one, one fish. My gosh, I can't remember the last time I put up only one fish for a tournament, and to do it at you know, the biggest tournament of my life at this point. Super disappointing, but it is what it is. It happens. Oh, and by the way, for the house, shout out to uh, Mr. Jason Barofka, top 10. The top 10 are going to the Bassmaster Classic Expo and stage tomorrow. But yeah, guys, we are going to call that a wrap. Pack our stuff, sleep one more night here at this uh, nice Airbnb, and head back to California first thing tomorrow morning. As always, thank you guys for watching, for tuning in, and I'll see you guys back in California.